Forests are an essential resource for water, clean air and food. Plus they help to fight climate change. When they are destroyed, entire ecosystems can go into shock. Patrick Dugan has been working in Asia for 30 years, helping forests to regenerate. What you see here is what's left of what was once a beautiful forest after s decades and decades of slash and burn, abuse, overpasturing, bad forest, ma bad land management. Now, look, hardly anything left. No tree seedlings, hardly even any weed seedlings, just this. This tenacious grass here, about the last thing that it'd grow. It's almost down to the final stage of degradation, bedrock. Even degradation this bad can be reversed, but it takes time. One example of how local people can make a difference is here on Bohol Island in the Philippines through a program called Assisted Natural Regeneration, or ANR. ANR is an ingeniously simple, low-cost process that allows small native trees to grow by eliminating competition from undesirable species. All these little fellows that are trying to grow get a chance to grow, and you can see the result. This is only two years old. And how many species have you got here? All native species. Things that just grew naturally. One, two, three, four, five, six. See the different different leaf shapes? You can, you can tell they're different species. And here are little babies trying to emerge. And this is what this natural regeneration is all about. These things happen. You just help Mother Nature and they happen. When a forest is destroyed, the environment suffers. Jobs are lost and farmers are left with degraded soil. Everybody loses. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization partnered with the Philippines government to promote ANR as a way of regenerating the forests. For Alberto Padilla, it means work and a way to make the forests more sustainable. Hundreds of locally employed people here work to protect and regenerate the forests. The ANR technique is simple. When a small tree is located, a ring is weeded around it and the surrounding grass is pressed down. Pressing the grass prevents it from taking the water and nutrients trees need to grow. Finally, nearby grass is cut away so sunlight can penetrate the area and trees can grow quickly. Dugang makahat tag og kaayuhan sa among mga mag-uuma kani yung panahon nga may balik na ang saktong kinayahan kabugnaw unya antod nga makapananom yung sakto sa maong mga mag-uuma sa mundo. The program works because local people act as its key players. Elicio Chavez and his family have always lived in this forest. Sa una sa wapo maabot ang project sa INR, magsigig kasunog ang kamutanan. Nga karon, diyan ay project sa INR na protektahan na sa mga tao din apel po ko sa kabinipisyo na katrabaho. Elicio gets a steady income from this project by patrolling the forest, a key part of the ANR program. Teams patrol daily looking for illegal harvesting, grazing or fires, which can devastate and wipe out an entire forest. 
Fire lines are created to prevent flames from jumping between forest areas. The community aspect of this program means local people take pride in caring for their own forests. Uh, akong nakita ang unsa dito importante ang lasang uh, angay pagtitaran na tong tanan o ako pong naanso kagalingon nya karon og uma umaabot pang uh, generasyon sa kabatan-onan But forests, one of the planet's most important resources, are still under pressure worldwide. They make up a third of the planet's land mass and provide over one and a half billion people with a livelihood. Many forests are not being used to their full potential. If restored and managed properly, they could support even more people. Worldwide, 850 million hectares, an area the size of Brazil, lie spoiled and degraded and every year a further 13 million hectares of forest are lost. Forest ecosystems are highly adaptive and with the right help, this huge part of our planet can regrow. In fact, through natural regrowth, together with forest regeneration and replantation projects, eight million hectares of forest grow back each year and the rate of destruction is finally slowing. We have reports that for the first time, the rate of deforestation is decreasing in many countries around the world. And this is a result of the concerted efforts at local and international levels. We're seeing this happening uh, in Asia in particular, as a result of increased resources being given to forest rehabilitation and forest restoration. A booming world population means an increased need for food, so the forest's role in protecting watersheds, preventing erosion, and providing a foothold for biodiversity is more important than ever. Manila, a city of over 11 million people with a sizable carbon footprint. The congestion here contributes to the build-up of greenhouse gases. The government realized it was time to reverse the trend and help mitigate climate change by supporting forest regeneration. We appreciate that. For example, a big city like Makati in the Philippines, which is a carbon emitter and uh, uh, a resort in uh, an island of Bohol, which is a protected area, becomes a carbon sink. Forests support a growing population and community-based programs need to aid efforts to regrow them. And when the forest does start to bounce back, new sources of income come with it. The tropical pandanus plant is used as food and to make dozens of household products. These women are able to grow the plant and make baskets for sale throughout the Philippines. It's an industry directly tied to the success of the surrounding forests. The return of lush forests means the Philippine island of Bohol is now ideally placed to exploit the ecotourism boom. As people begin to understand the fragility of our natural systems, they are flocking to see forests, which in turn brings income into the community. Recognizing this, the city of Danao is plowing back a portion of ecotourism fees into forest rehabilitation, including ANR. We came up with an ecotourism before it became too late, before we lost our, uh, all our forests. So uh, we wanted uh, our people to know that you know, uh, progress does not have to entail uh, destruction of our forests. So, uh, we wanted them to realize also that they can benefit from what we have. 2011 has been declared by the United Nations to be the International Year of Forests. 
This will give further impetus to an increasing awareness that is already showing positive results. It's an occasion to celebrate the role of forests, but at the same time reminds us that more needs to be done. What you see behind me is what the natural forest really looks like. There are big trees that are from the original forest. There are smaller ones from the regenerated forest. Ages ranging from 80 or 90 years old for the big ones to maybe 20, 30, 40 years old for the little ones. This is what can happen here. It can happen all over Bohol. It can happen all over the Philippines. It can happen all over the world.